Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. As you can see today, I'm somewhere new. I'm at Castle Park here in Riverside, California. It's been a long time since I've been here, like a very long time. So I decided, hey, you know what? Let's head back to, to the park, check it out, see what's new, see what's changed over the years. Yeah, let's have some fun and dive right in. This is the front entrance here Yeah, Castle Park, just right off the freeway. You, you, it's hard to miss. You drive right past and you can see a lot of the rides and attractions that they have. And this is actually a pretty big park. Yeah, Castle Park is nearly 30 acres, which is fairly large for uh, a park that's like this. Very similar to like what Scandia was when we had that over here. Uh, and then very similar to Adventure City, but on a larger scale. But yeah, it, like I said, it's been years since I've been here, so I'm very curious to see what has changed. And you know, tickets for this, after tax, it was only like 36 bucks. You could buy the tickets online and the parking too. And there's the park map right when you walk in. We still haven't even scanned tickets yet. That's just right around the corner right here. And also joining me today, Drew from Parks Bros. Hey buddy, how's it going? Nice to hang out again, it's been a while. It's been a while. And uh, yeah, you know, I called you up today, I was like, hey, let's go to Castle Park, and you're like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be a fun day here at Castle Park. But yeah, you can see the park is uh, fairly large for this kind of style of theme park, and they've got a few attractions there. All right, now upon entering the park, you know, one of the main things I wanted to do here, because I knew that they had this coaster, and I haven't gotten this coaster credit yet, was Screaming Demon, but upon further inspection, it looks like it's not working today. There's it looks like the control panel's like covered up too, so I don't know if this is gonna be operational at all this evening. Fingers crossed that maybe they'll open up later, but dang, I really wanted to get this this credit because I've seen it I've seen it run before. I know it runs. And it's one of those things I've driven past a million times. I'm like, I gotta do it. Dang it. That's okay. We'll still we'll just still do some exploring. I know they have another roller coaster here, which I've done before but we can definitely do it again. Yeah, this one's very similar to a wild mouse coaster, so it spins throughout its course, which is really unique. And what's also really unique, unique about this one is it has like a double lift hill, so you go up once, turn around the corner, you go up again. So that would have been cool to go on, but yeah, you know, there's always next time I come back to Castle Park, you know, sometime next year, the year after that, but I mean, hey, at least you know it's here, Screaming Demon and uh, cross your fingers that it's open when you come. I do love looking at all this kind of stuff though. Especially, look at this layout, what a very interesting layout, would you say, Drew? That's like the weirdest, it, it's definitely a wild mouse coaster. Oh yeah. I, it might actually be made by the same uh, manufacturer that does these Carnival wild mouse coasters, if I'm not mistaken, because it looks very similar. But yeah, like I said, that, that double lift hill is very unique to this particular model. Pretty cool though. Thing. Yeah, go up the hill right here, turn around, and you go up the second lift. Very, very unique design. Oh wow, look at this! They have one of these classic spinny rides that you can control, like how far you uh, swing out. They have one of these at Knott's Berry Farm. If you've never been on one of these; it's really, really fun. But it looks like this one's not open today either. I know the uh, Merlin's Revenge, which I've been on. Like I said, that one's open, so we'll, we'll probably go on that one in a little bit. And I think this like looping roller coaster that I'm definitely not going on is open. Yeah, let's do some more exploring. This one is, I do like the dragon on the side there. It's menacing. Yeah, see this is what I'm talking about, the fireball. Definitely won't catch me on one of these things. There's a few of these at a couple Six Flags parks. There's one in Fiesta, Texas, and they also have one up north in Northern California. Uh, I see this, this one might make me sick. Oh no, there it goes. No, thank you. Now this ride behind me, the Spider, a very classic carnival ride. It's it's kind of they're kind of hard to find. You don't really see too many of them in the wild here. But uh, there's one here at Castle Park. And we have officially approached a railroad crossing. Yeah, they do have a little miniature railroad that goes around the entire park, which is really cool. So we're going to try to go on that a little bit. I love the little details they have here in the railing. Look at the horse. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can hear the train coming around. We better hurry up and cross before I get ran over. Crossing over here, they do have a traditional swing ride. 
They have a little s, &S tower uh, drop, the little drop tower. This one, I believe, just shoots you up and down. Very similar to the one that we rode at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. That was a lot of fun. Might be the same model. And of course, they got one of these beauties. Uh, this is another attraction that I uh, will not go on. <laughs> I will definitely get sick on this. But yeah, I think uh, for sure we're gonna have to do the free fall too. We're gonna keep walking around though and see what else they have here. Pretty much the plan right now is to do a lap around the park and then go back and do the rides. Oh look, here comes a train. cool is that? <laughs> Alright, we're still doing some exploring and I actually really like this section of the park. It had these beautiful trees providing some marvelous shade right now. We have this nice fountain in the middle and then right behind the fountain we got a dragon swing. Good old classic dragon swing attraction. And they have a bunch of little like food stands around, some uh, carnival games, you can press your luck with one of those. I believe they have a big arcade here as well. But yeah, it seems like everyone's having a good time, enjoying their day. The vibe here is, is very nice. Oh, and then look at this. They have two trains. So they have the even smaller one, and then they have the uh, larger train on that side. That's kind of cool. I am seeing something off in the distance here. We might have to do a tilt-a-whirl, another classic carnival ride. We go venture off in that area. Be careful crossing the railroad tracks, Drew. Be careful, be careful. Okay, let's, uh, let's check this tilt-a-whirl out. And there she is. That, okay, that one sounds like a smooth tilt-a-whirl. That one's not a, that one's not, wow, that group right there was going a million miles an hour. Did you see that? <laughs> My goodness. And we've officially made it in our tilt-a-whirl attraction vehicle. <laughs> I was thinking of what to say. Okay, now the trick to tilt-a-whirl is you have to lean to one side so then you can really get going. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't been on one of these in like, a billion years, so I may throw up. You know what? As long as you're filming it. Oh no. Okay. Wow, this thing is picking up right here. Whoa! Yeah, the G forces. Okay, we got. Okay, we got to get to one side. We got to get to one side. Drew, Drew, come over here. Yeah, come over here. Okay. Okay, we'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a good spin. Yeah, that was great. That was, that was a really good spin. That was at least like four or five Gs. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe we can get one more good spin here. Oh, here it goes. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow, we're, we're still going. Oh, I think I might pass out. Oh, no, it's the ride's ending. We avoided a oh. pass out. Wow, we were, I'm dizzy. Yeah, I'm, I'm super dizzy. Yeah, that was a, uh, that was intense. Oh. I should not have eaten that many chicken wings before this. Oh no, yeah. We might have to uh, take a little break. <laughs> yeah, there is a little dizzy. I, I, you know, I gotta say, out of all the tilt-a-whirls that I've been on, because I've done a few, that one, that one's pretty, that one was legit. It was easily the most intense tilt-a-whirl I have ever been on. Yeah, and that's about as, see, like I said, I could do some spinny rides and then other spinny rides I can't do. Tilt-a-whirl is one of those I can do. But it was funny because I was expecting to slow down in some parts. Oh no, we were spinning the whole entire time. Castle Park, one of the best tilt-a-whirls. Yeah, easily. <laughs> it's a hidden gem. Found another interesting attraction, the Sky Rider. Look at that thing. That's like something at a roller coaster tycoon. I'm down to do that. All right, we just made it on. You know, I don't think I've ever been on one of these before, so another unique attraction check mark off the bucket list. This is pretty neat. And we'll get a nice little bird's eye view of the park, too. Yeah, this is a, actually a really nice view of the park, and we're still going up a little bit, too. A nice view of the uh, rest of. Riverside over here. We got a view of the log flume down there, which is currently closed at the moment. Yeah, look at this section of the park. It's just covered in trees with a dragon swing down there. Cool. Yeah, really nice view. 
We got the 91 freeway there just to give you guys a perspective of where we are. And look at down here, we got some lumber. I wonder if they're doing a Halloween event this year. Right, we just got off the uh, Sky Tower ride and look at this, Ghost Blasters 2 ride if you dare. Now I remember back in the day when I did come to Castle Park, I rode Ghost Blasters, but I don't remember it being two. Is this like the revenge of Ghost Blasters? <laughs> like does this mean it's more intense or something? You go, do you go around twice? I don't know, Drew, what do you think? I mean, it has to be something. Yes. And what's cool here at Castle Park, they not only just have a bunch of the rides, they have a golf course. They have multiple miniature golf courses on site here. And I've done this one before. And it's actually pretty good. So if you don't want to do the rides or anything, you can come over to Castle Park just to do some miniature golfing. Now we've made it inside to this giant arcade. This is where the Ghost Blasters attraction lives, which is actually kind of fitting because the attraction is like a shooting ride, similar to Toy Story Mania and Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. So it does make sense to stick it in the middle of an arcade. Okay, we've made it over to Ghost Blasters 2. Wow, there's someone screaming. Is it really that terrifying in there? I don't remember it being that scary. Okay, here we go. Shoot that skeleton. Shoot the skeleton, Drew. Oh, wow, we just like, whoa, we're going down this. Okay, this feels nice in here. Oh, whoa. Wow. I'm just gonna start shooting random things. Wow, this is actually really cool. I don't remember this at all. Like, like I said, I've gone on it before, but I don't remember the details in here. Oh, wow. Who did that? Oh, Dylan's already beating me. Come on, we gotta get that ghost. We get that ghost. Whoa. Uh-oh. What's going on in here? Wow. Wow, this is... This is really well done. Oh, that was mildly terrifying. <laughs> it's like the hitchhiking ghosts. Oh, yeah, I got points. Oh, you did. You got 30. I don't know when. I wasn't Whoa. shooting. Could you imagine if there wasn't brakes right there? We would have been flying down that hill. Well, that's that's the grand total, ladies and gentlemen. 90 to 30. As you can tell, we are experts. Absolutely. Yeah, I was not expecting that, and they did a really good job with all the details inside that attraction. Class, it almost like reminded me of like a classic Disneyland dark ride, and all the uh, black light paint in there was so vibrant and clean. So yeah, shout out to you, Castle Park. That was really well done. Now, one thing I wanted to point out that is relatively new here at Castle Park is like this little water park. It's not very big, they have a couple slides, but it's mainly just this like water play complex. That's really neat though, especially because it's so hot in uh, SoCal. I mean, on a side note, I'm just noticing this like pinwheel right over here that's going at like Mach 5. <laughs> let, me, let me zoom in. Wow, that, <laughs> because the, the water nozzle on that, look at that. Yeah, you definitely don't want to put your hand on that. And next up for us is Merlin's Revenge. Ooh, look at his magic. Look at how insane that is. That's how intense this roller coaster is going to be. Now, Drew's never been on this ride before. Like I said, I've done this one before a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Let's do Merlin's Revenge. Next up for us is the antique car ride. Now these are really rare. We went on one up north, California's Great America. So it's nice to see that there's one here at Castle Park. And we're off. Thankfully, oh, there goes Drew. Hello. <laughs> I love these antique car rides. Again, they're so rare. Only a few parks have them in the country. The fact that Castle Park has one just right here in our backyard, this is pretty sweet. This one's all like decked out too. We got a little shacks and shanties around. I'm sure during Halloween this looks fantastic. 
Whee! Look, I don't even have to steer. Oh, there goes the train. Wow, this one's going pretty quick. All right, rounding the bend. Don't know what's going on in there. Maybe that's where they do laundry. This one's a pretty good length, I must say. Rounding another bend at 90 miles an hour. Yeah, you can totally have one of these in your backyard and live happy. Just live a happy life. Have an antique car ride in your backyard. Oh yeah. And just like that, our ride is coming to an end. That was fun. Oh. Alrighty, it is time for the Dragon's Tower. I remember when they built this. So, you know, I used to live out uh, in Lake Elsinore and sometimes we'd drive along this freeway to get some stuff done uh, down in Riverside. So I'd see them building new rides and I remember when they put this one up. That's kind of crazy that now I'm here about to ride it. just got off Dragon's Tower and that was a lot of fun. It's funny like the first like part of it wasn't as intense but then all of a sudden a random pop of air time happened. That was, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah I enjoyed that. Just like the one over at Silver Dollar City. Perfect. Perfect for a park like this. They don't need something insanely big. They just need something that's thrilling enough uh, for the entire family. Oh you know what I'm so glad they have an airline because you know when I was booking my trip to Florida I was wondering should I fly Castle Park Airlines or should I fly Delta? I'm not sure. I might have to stick with Castle Park Airlines. This one's pretty reliable. Oh look at this the frying factory. They got funnel cakes, fries, corn dogs, and fries. Fried Oreos. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. See I'm supposed to be good Drew. I'm not supposed to be eating too much of this stuff anymore. But you can, get, maybe I'll buy fried Oreos and then you could eat my serving. That way you have double the fun. There you go. Good with me. And you know, one thing that just crossed my mind, I've seen this dragon a lot throughout the park. It seems to be their logo. And honestly, they should make a popcorn bucket with that's like this dragon. I mean, hey, Castle Park, if you're watching, there's an idea for you. You can make some money on those popcorn buckets. And by the way, his name is Duke. He's even got his name tattooed on his belly. That's when you know Duke is like straight up player. Like he doesn't mess yeah. around. Mm -mm, not at all. Like he does have a couple hidden Mickeys on him though. So I wonder if he's uh, related. And then up here in the front of the park where we entered, they do have a show. I didn't notice this before. They have the Anthony the Magic Magic Show. How cool. So they do have live entertainment at Castle Park. You know, a park like this definitely has potential to add something that is uh, a, a little bit bigger, you know, like Fun Spot out in Florida, they have some big coasters and I feel like Castle Park can do the same thing if they really wanted to spend some money. I know RMC announced those family coasters. They can install one of those here. They definitely have some room to move around some of the current attractions and they could even do like other little family coasters that are small and affordable for smaller parks like this. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of opportunity for Castle Park in the future. And it's quite busy here today. Like there's a lot of people enjoying their evening. And the park stays open until 11. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was a fun little afternoon at Castle Park. Now they do a Halloween event, so be on the lookout for that. It's called Castle Dark. Ooh, we might be checking out that, I'm not sure. Uh, but they do offer something for the Halloween season, so that's fantastic. Oh, there's Duke. Goodbye, Duke. See you later, buddy. But look at this right here. Uh, honor the past, inspire the future. This is a look back in time. Castle Park. This is pretty crazy. I love this. I love all these little bits of history they have. And how cool is this? Our good friend Bud here. He was uh, the founder of Castle Park and he also knew Walt Disney and Walter Knott. And that's kind of like where all this started. So he designed Castle Park Golf and Stuff in 1971. And then the rest is kind of history as you can see, like the park started to evolve and his legacy lives on still here in Riverside. It's pretty neat. And look at that Castle Park Golf and Stuff, or Golf and Fun opens up May 1st in 1976. 
and the Castle Park in 1977 hosts the very first annual Halloween surprise party. Look at that. I just love these moments in history and it's so cool to think that a lot of these people were all kind of working on the same projects with like Knott's Berry Farm and Disneyland. It's a lot of history in these little places and so many people drive by Castle Park and they have no idea that all this is uh that all this is tucked away here. This is really neat. 1980 Castle Park Arcade expands but assists in an adding Dragon Swing at Knott's Berry Farm in his last direct con contribution at the park. Isn't that crazy? And if you're wondering when Duke came about, Duke became uh, the mascot for Castle Park in 2012. They also have a list of all the rides and their opening year. So the latest attraction is the Rockin' Tug. It was in 2018, they opened up that one. Of course, here's the train. And then a really cool photo of them laying the concrete for the train. So neat. Well, you know, I think that's gonna do it from Castle Park here in Riverside, California. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave the link down below in the description for that, as well as a huge shout out to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys are absolutely amazing, and you make a lot of these videos possible. And I'll leave that link down below if you wanna help support the channel. Follow that link. You do a one-time donation, and it helps directly towards the video, so I really appreciate it that. But it was fun hanging out at Castle Park with my buddy Drew from Parks Bros. I'll leave his channel link down below in the description. It was nice to come back after so many years to see what's changed and you know what a lot of it is still kind of the same and that's, there's really nothing wrong with that. The park has got its own little charm and it's nice that they do a Halloween event so we might come back later on in the fall. But yeah it was, a, it was a great day. Other than that though hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye!